Hello everyone, my name is Josh and my name is Jay and we want to encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can watch a defined enlightening We've said this the last time We have said this the last time Some of you still have not subscribed Calm down Jay I will not I will not calm down How hard is it? How hard is it? It's just a button It's over here Where? Here What? Who shifted the subscription button? Hold on you see? Be careful, Jay. You see? You see how easy it is? You see how easy it is? It, 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 it doesn't It's been two weeks, Sonia. Yeah. You're treating that boy like an animal. Now, don't you dare. Don't you dare advise me on how to raise my own son. You're not raising your son. You're, you're, you're destroying him. If by destroying him, he becomes what I want him to be, then so be it. Sonia, yeah. don't. When I ask you to stay, you stay. Please, Mom. What are you doing? Getting your things ready. I'll come back with her. Sandra, please. Drew, bring her back with you. That's my son! When are you going to connect us to your colleague? Why? Because I'm personally taking over the case. I bought the high profile case you spoke about. It is not worth the soul of a brother. A lovely place you have, yes, sir. I know. My father cannot afford a place like this in a thousand years. I know. I was wondering why you picked me, sir. Why I picked you? I just celebrated my call to bar. And as a young lawyer in an established firm, I saw my superiors chasing after this very case. And all of a sudden, I was told you wanted me specifically. Why me, sir? Because of your father. My father? He is a very good man. And um, I wanted to give this case to someone like him, you know, someone with great integrity. Your father has that, and I'm sure you do too. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, I do, sir. Have you heard about the accused? Yes. One school teacher who allegedly raped a secondary school student. Yeah, yeah. Your father would have fought tooth and nail to keep someone like that in jail. Because he's a man of integrity, your father. Well, that's very true. Just 
What's this for, sir? It is for you to be a man of integrity and to keep someone without integrity in jail. Someone like Martins. Ah. Sir. Sir, I, I promise you, sir. I will never disappoint you. Oh, please. I know you won't. Thank you, Gbero. And uh, my regards to your father. Papa Gbero. Where are you going? I'm going to be staying with the family of uh, Mr. Digbola. What case? Ah, ah, mommy. Mommy. There's just only one case that will take me out of my comfort zone. Why are you doing as if you don't care for this boy? Did I say I did not? Did I say anything like that? You know how much this boy means to me. You know. You know how much I love this boy. Why don't you, for God's sake, love this boy the same way? Why don't you treat him like your son? Because he is not my son. Mommy, I won't do several time to stop talking like that. God gave us this boy to take care of. We've invested so much on this boy. We've cared for this boy. Why are you now turning your back against this boy? What about your son? When will you remember you have a son? What are you talking about? What are you saying? Bero, you missed a skull to bar. Mommy, you are aware of what happened. I told you what happened. We were busy with Mr. Debola to resolve the case of Martins. What is this thing I told you? No, 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 no. What is no? Daddy. You don't leave your own son to take care of another person's child. Daddy, a prodigal son for that matter. Hmm. Mommy, when the prodigal son came back home, the father accepted him. But you are just acting like the first child who was jealous and questioned the love the father has for the prodigal son. I love Beiru. Beiru is my first child. I love him so much. We brought up Beiru in the fear of the Lord and they accepted the training and the teachings. But this Martin is a prodigal son. He is in a huge storm. It is our responsibility, mommy, to get him out of that storm. I've heard you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mommy, where are the keys to this house? You are going nowhere, Daddy. Ah, no, Mom. You can't do this. It is done. Mommy, remember, this was exactly the same thing that you did that got Martins into trouble. It wasn't what I did. It wasn't what I did that got Martins into trouble. Martins got into trouble because he wanted to get into trouble. Ah. Why are you talking like this? The day he kicked you out of his house was the beginning of his trouble. And God gave me a family who happened to be a lawyer fighting for Martins' case. You can see that all things work together for good. And you are going away. <sighs> Mommy, don't tempt me to apply force. If you go, what are you going to do if I go? It will only prove a point. Just one point. That what? That you have turned yourself into a hero that you are not. You are fighting a battle without carrying your family along. Your wife is out. Your son is out. You are fighting with so much zeal. But no direction. Save journey. Go ahead and meet with your new family that God has given you.
Welcome. How was the journey? So what, what are we going to do about this girl called Flora now? I honestly don't know. You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? We had a plan, didn't we? Yes, we did, Sonia. We did. So what's stopping you from executing our plans? This girl has a case to answer in court. You will not be smart to, for, for us to allow her to, 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 to testify against Martins. It will solidify his jail term. She's a, she's a holy witness. That's why I want her out of the picture. Being the only witness gives her an edge over us. What if she decides to go against us and blow out our secrets? No, 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 no. She dares not. Oh, you know the trouble that would bring for us, don't you? When she's done testifying in court, I will see to it that she's killed. Time is not on our side, buddy. The longer that girl stays alive, the riskier it gets for us. You don't even have to tell me that. You don't have to tell me. She has started threatening me because I didn't give her the money. <laughs> um, are you going to wait for her to carry out her threat? She can't execute any threat. She's going to testify and when she's done, she's out. I am not leaving anything to chance. I want that girl dead. What about the court case? I don't care about any court case. I want her dead. Understood. Good. Oh, you self-call. Oh. Ah, you me. He ah. of me now. Ah, ah. I asked of you from comfort now. Ah. This is well. Ah. Why well, today dry can't dry now. like this? This is the person's face. No. Why yeah, you can't tell no see now you they look now? I bet ah. you forget Joe. Ah. The person was forget him. Okay. Ah. okay. I don't fear. <laughs> mm, you know the fear. Why you can't carry wood for head? You know, thank your star. Say, I know even eat them for your head. What you can't do for ye? I see me can surprise you now. Eh? Which yeah. kind of surprise be that? Ah, I don't tell you, say me, you know, come here. <laughs> I don't tell you, say I go show. Eh? You just pretend as if you don't even miss me at all. Wait, what you can't do for this place? I've been you, they monitor me for red zoom. Hmm. Something close. You this girl. No come that place, come monitor me again. No. Uh -uh. Why I no go monitor my only sister? Eh? Why you go monitor me? I tell you say me you no show. I tell you say I go show. You don't pretend say you never miss me. I don't miss you. No do that kind of thing again. No. You won't give person at attack me. Ah uh ah. -uh. At attack. Now you talk say you no fear that time now, eh? You no go school ni. Eh? At attack they different from fear. Uh -uh. <laughs> Which one come was first? Go ask your mama. She talks, say me can greet you. Ah, her boyfriend, say. You mean our husband and our father? You they mad? Who be my papa? But that is who he is now. 
Sandra, if now we see you come talk for my house with her bed, come out. I no get papa, I be bastard. My mama go do a shower work, now she can't shit me come out. I no know my papa, and she no know my papa. I beg, why you could go and give me one, dash me one old food, they call her my papa. I tell you, say papa, they hungry me. Our mother was a prostitute. But then, that was before. She's a new creature. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Flora. <laughs> now, wait till she want me, you believe me that so? No, now wait till I believe me that. She not tell you how she traded me to men old enough to be my father. They defiled me. For what? Just for a naira note. This more then, wait till you sabi. Now, when she don't marry pastor, she can't know say old things don't pass away. No be her fault. God go punish him. The whole thing will pass away. Her boyfriend and all of them join. Husband. Wait till you talk. Husband, our husband and our father. See, Sandra, please come out my house. If you know say that this nonsense, you won't talk. See, I come here, I can't take you back home. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> See, mommy told me how she regrets badly the way she pushed you into this evil world of prostitution. And she wants it with all her power to get you out of this place. And see, that is why I've come, to get you out of here, Flora. Hello, superwoman. Since I gave my life to Jesus, he has given me superpowers, and that is what I've been using. And I believe his words that says that I can do all things through Jesus that strengthens me. See, and that is the confidence I came with to get you out of here. And if it takes the strength of Jesus to drag you out, Flora, I'm just going to do exactly what I've said. I'm going to get you out of here. Babe, <laughs> wait till you shag before you come here. Now Holy Spirit, free make person they talk how you they talk like this. <laughs> now Holy Spirit, where Jesus Christ give me. Now you make her they talk all the things where they talk. Babe, now you might shag before I come here. Now nah, you yeah. sabi. Thank God say you even don't come. Come cook for me. Daddy, your food is ready. Come and eat. I'm not hungry. Why? I'm not hungry. But you have not eaten since morning. <laughs> ah! You have undermined me. How? You have disrespected me. I was only trying to prove a point in order that we may reach a conclusion. Prove a point? Proof a point that our boy is in the police custody, hungry, famished. <laughs> Explain the point that I was going to save him and help him out of the situation, and you choose to lock me up and stop me from going to help him. <sighs> is that your point? Are you ready to listen now? Yes. Carry us along. Is that the point you want to prove? That's it. That's my point. Biro knows nothing about everything happening in this house. He spent most of his years in the boarding house. He met Martins just once, and that was seven years ago. You call Martins your son. Can he? Biro, call him his brother. Don't allow the zeal for your matins consume you. <laughs> Is that the point you want to prove? That's it. Okay. You can go and eat my food. Fine. Fine? Have you ever wished death for anyone, Mr. Adegbala? No. Oh. Lucky you. <laughs> Several times I've uh, killed my father in my heart, but that man has refused to die. When you have an enemy that has refused to die, 
Why don't you pray for him to leave? If he leaves, then he will continue to persecute me. Well, Jesus Christ himself said you should pray for those that persecute you. No, he wasn't talking about my father. If he wasn't talking about the devil, certainly he was talking about your father. What prayer do you pray for a man who has given you every reason to hate him? He killed my mother. He used that for rituals. He dumped me here. He made my life miserable. My wife molested my only son and made my life so miserable. She had us locked up in the prison of depression. Martins, you came into our lives and opened the prison gate by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. A few days ago, the Holy Spirit gave me an impossible task of paying her a visit and made me pray for her. In my strength, I could not. But because the Holy Spirit enabled me, I had to suspend my own desire for ease. When I met her in the prison, hopeless was a better word to describe her state. I prayed for her and gave her the only Bible I had. A few days ago, I heard she's been suffering from a terminal sickness. And she's now dead. But you know what? She left a note for me, thanking me 